everybody, welcome back to 5 Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be 5 minutes. Today in the news, we're gonna keep it light. We're gonna be fun, because you can only hate on Bobby Kotick and NFTs so much. Which is why I'm starting today with a thing I'm sure you've all seen, the Mario Brothers commercial that played during the Super Bowl and took over social media on Sunday. A fake commercial, but for the real movie, featuring the plumbers in their infamous plumbing service using the old 1989 theme song from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, which I grew up with, I loved, I know all the lyrics, I know the dance, I even know the Zelda show that they would include with it every once in a while, they'd be like, excuse me, princess. That whole thing, loved it. This was directed at me, clearly. But the best part is the website they mentioned is fully functional, with Easter eggs featuring the GameCube startup sound when you press the phone number, or the Mario Kart sound when you click on the As Seen on TV button. They even go deeper down the Easter egg iceberg of Mario lore with customer testimonials, one being by Spike is Cool who is the construction foreman from the 1984 Wrecking Crew game who chases Mario around. I genuinely love everything about this. It seems like the team behind all of this uh, promotional stuff is having a lot of fun. Uh, they're definitely targeting both younger and older gamers, people who would remember the Super Show. I was a kid, but that stuff stuck with me. I can do the, just like that. I got the whole thing. I'm really excited for this movie. I know there's a lot of like, Chris Pratt sucks and you know, no comment, but, but uh, you know, I'm excited for this. This is fun. Speaking of fun and things I enjoy, Yoko Taro, the madman behind some of my favorite games as well, still mad and making what may be my next favorite game because this time he has created another nonsensical masterpiece with a game called 404 Game Reset, where you'll battle an evil alternate version of Sega, even the trailer apparently contains the phrase, kill Sega. And how do you do this exactly? Well, apparently with the waifu personification of old Sega games. That's right, as of right now, we know included in the game are waifu Afterburner, Outrun, Virtua Cop, Virtua Fighter, and more. A Google translated tweet from the official 404 Game Reset account describes the game setting as a Sega country that seeks to deceive and control people. The player character, in turn, will be charged with the task of delivering the truth hidden by Sega to as many as possible and taking back the world from the maniacal Sega country. I don't even know what else to say about this. I, I know that I love it, it's just my kind of crazy, and it's definitely worth following for more information. Meanwhile, something I've been following for a long time, Total War Warhammer 3. Immortal Empires is out, and yeah, it's still considered a beta, but now, new content and updates are finally on the way. Because fans have been frothing with excitement to get any sort of information on Chaos Dwarves, and honestly, who can blame them? In a video posted on the Total War Twitter feed, game director Rich Aldridge gave an update on what's taken so long. We knew that we needed to get Immortal Empires to you in the best possible state, Aldridge said. And that's where we focused all our efforts on last year, making sure that we've got a great foundation going forward through Immortal Empires, but also in patching Warhammer 3 itself and getting it to the state we need it to be to add new content and experiences later this year and beyond. And while we don't really know what that content is, it is coming in April, so fingers crossed for Chaos Dwarves, and then we're gonna get something in the summer and then in the winter. So finally, some good news for Total War Warhammer 3 fans like myself, stuff is coming. Speaking of things coming, ooh, I don't know that I like that. This week, <laughs> We're getting a lot of new games. Yep, that's where we're going. Tomorrow, the slasher shooter anime dead or alive style corporate conspiracy. Honestly, I don't know what this game is, except it's wanted dead. Play as Lieutenant Hannah Stone, a hard boiled badass in an elite squad of Hong Kong police, taking on gang members and private military in this cyberpunk style adventure. It looks absolutely bonkers. I'm 100% here for it, expect 
a video in the future. Then on Thursday, Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line drops 385 songs from the library of Final Fantasy games onto your Switch or PlayStation. And yes, it has Final Fantasy 14 songs, so one brings shadow, one brings light, let's go. Your favorite characters from the past 30 years or so battle their way musically through some of the best soundtracks written in video games. It's cute, it's chill, it's a great portable Switch title. And then on Friday, the game that everyone's gonna be streaming this weekend, Wild Hearts, the action role-playing Monster Hunter style game where you take on massive beasts in a fantasy, feudal, Japan-like world? It's got lots you probably expect, but also a lot you don't. What I think really sets this one apart is the fact that it has sort of a Death Stranding vibe to it, where you leave your footprint on the world by unlocking specific builds and helpful crafts that can aid other players in their quest to hunt monsters. I love that. You know what else I love? When you subscribe to this channel, we're so close. And if you're already subscribed, give it a like. That really helps. It goes a long way. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks so much. See y'all tomorrow for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.